welcome back to my channel guys on today's video i'm going to be testing out removing my makeup or two methods of removing my makeup so i'm going to be showing you guys two new items that i recently purchased and over a two day period um, i'll be showing you guys which one works the best both of the products i've never tried before also they're both completely different to one another the first one i want to try tonight is the pixie nourishing cleansing balm so this is not a new product i don't believe it's new it's been out for quite a while and they say it's comparable to the clinique take it off balm um i was going to get that initially but then i saw reviews on this and it was um apparently doing the same job and could possibly be even a dupe for the clinique so i want to try this first and then tomorrow night i'll be trying a different product and what i'll do to make it fair I'll use the same mascara, I'll have the same amount of makeup on, the same foundation, I'll make sure I'm wearing the same foundation. It might just be a different eye colour tomorrow night, you'll see, but everything else will remain the same. So let's start by taking my earrings out first of all, tying my hair back. Um, I have a lot of makeup on, it's the end of the day, it is now 10.25. Um, I know that oh my god there's hair everywhere i'm shitting so i have a full face of makeup on which has been on all day all day and it's starting to look definitely worse for wear um it's been on for at least ten and a half hours so yeah that's quite a long time let's start by taking the lashes off oh and that feels good this balm is enriched with sweet almond oil and cocoa butter balm to oil cleanser supposed to melt your makeup off your face um i have a feeling it's probably going to be better than the um, tomorrow's product i'm going to be showing you um i might be surprised tomorrow's might be better than this but i'm sure this is going to be beating the one tomorrow I've, i can't wait to see which one does the best job and also what inspired me to do this video is because i tend to usually use wipes or the Garnier um, micellar water or some kind of micellar water and I was getting so tired of constantly rubbing over the same area of my eye over and over again and the glue the eyelash glue that's another reason why I don't necessarily like wearing lashes all the time I do try and avoid it when I can I don't wear them on a daily basis but I tend to do it um, because it just really accentuates an eye look I mean look at my eyes now without lashes that just looks not good to me it says this gentle cleansing balm comforts as it deep cleans and nourishes melting away makeup for silky soft skin and a glowing complexion packed with nutrient rich oils and butters to moisturize it's great for all skin types i'm actually surprised because i seem to be getting a collection of pixie products this is especially good um, for me at the moment the glow tonic I've got a small bottle to try first and I'm actually liking it. I think it is making an improvement on my complexion when I have no makeup on. I can see um, my skin looks a little bit more clearer. Let's see how well it does at taking off this full face of makeup. It comes like this in a balm and it smells very, very like a like a baby fresh smell. So I have this little wooden spatula. I don't know if it's going to affect it. I'm just putting it in and it comes off like quite a thick consistency. That's probably too much. So I'm going to spread that between two cheeks and then put a little bit more on my forehead and we'll start with that. And basically you just massage, I should have wore a different top shouldn't I? You massage it into the skin and just rub it in until um, you feel like it's clean or you, you until you feel like it's all gone into i mean i've seen some people use this and they have used um cotton pads first for the eye area because it does become very very messy but i wanted to test the product by itself without cheating just to see how much it gets off Can I open my eyes? Oh wow. 
that's definitely took a lot of the eye makeup off and my hands ain't even that dirty I can still see a whole bunch of makeup in my eyebrows but yeah I can't really rub any more into it so the next step is to use the hot um, washcloth and rub that all into the skin and then it should be clean so give me a second and I'll get the cloth I am back I still have everything on my face I haven't touched anything you can now see some black under my eyes I look like a greasy mess and here is my clean Clinique washcloth I just wet it with some hot water and basically you just wipe away and we'll see what's left I, I didn't put any of the product down my neck but I will I'm still wiping down my neck Wow, I do feel clean. That is a lot of makeup. And what I like about this method, it just feels nicer to do. I, I enjoy taking my makeup off doing it this way. And I have to say that's done a really, really good job. Um, this, I can still see some makeup on my inner corner. But my lashes, I think it's, it's, done, a, it's done a really good job for just doing it one time like that. Well, now here's the real me. This is how I look every time I start a video usually, so shouldn't be too shocked. So I'm just basically going into all the nooks and cranny of my face. There's barely anything coming off on the cloth now. I suppose the real test is to get a clean one of these and just give it a quick wipe around my face and see if anything comes off yeah there's still a little bit on there just a tad but yeah you don't normally stop at this point to um finish your uh nighttime routine i go and wash my face after this and then start applying my skincare for the evening but i am really impressed with that first time using it and i'm definitely going to be repurchasing that again let's get close that's done a really good job I can still see a little bit of black there and a little bit of black there but I'm not mad with it I would say that got off 98% of my makeup there's a little bit a tiny little bit of blackness under my eye right here on my lash line I can go in again with a wipe but it's not going to take half as much effort as what it normally does when I just use the regular micellar water so I'm going to go off camera now and you'll see me again tomorrow night trying out a different method of taking off my makeup with another product I've got. But yeah, so far so good and my face feels soft and I haven't even washed it yet. It feels really, it definitely feels like it's nourished my skin and that's just by taking my makeup off. That's without me applying any of my skincare. Normally when you use wipes and you're just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, you know, you, you, just, you need to wash your face. But this feels so different to how my face normally feels when I've removed my makeup so I'm really pleased with that it feels like a more gentle way of doing it so big thumbs up from me I like that a lot and I'll see you tomorrow night with my next product I'll be trying out and she's back I'm back and what a day a kitchen is a mess here we are the second part part two to this video i'll be glad to take this makeup off and get into bed and go to sleep the time is 9 35 so an hour earlier than last night still around the 10 hour mark use the same mascara foundation eyeshadow is different i use the huda beauty on my on the lower part of my eyelids today mixed in with some lime crime which is not saying too much for the pink in the palette because it wasn't outstanding enough so I had to go in with some extra sparkle and as you can see I am not wearing lashes today and I'm looking extremely tired because it's that time in a month the second product I want to review for the very first time is this it's the W7 it's magic makeup remover cloth um <laughs> I'm not sure how this is gonna work this cost £5.99 from Amazon um, I'm not sure if you could even get W7 in the States. It's like a very low-end drugstore brand. It had excellent reviews on Amazon, so I was curious to see what it was going to do. This is what it says. It's a magic makeup remover cloth. 
The Magic Makeup Remover Cloth by W7 that's so quick and easy to use and works with only water. So I'm interested to see how this does and how it makes my face feel compared to how it felt last night. Clean and wash your W7 Remover Cloth before you use it for the first time. I haven't done that yet so you have to bear with me. Place your remover cloth under warm running water until it's saturated. It's been a long day. Gently wipe and rub off your makeup in soft, smooth, circular motions until your makeup has completely vanished. This basically means there's no products involved apart from this one cloth and it's supposed to remove any traces of makeup. I'm not sure how it's going to feel on the face, but let's get to trying this out. I'll be back in a second once I've um, wet the cloth already for the first time. Actually, let's get it out. Let's have a look. So they, they, they had no options of colours, it just came in this deep pink magenta colour. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I bet these have already been out and about and I've just not seen them yet. This side feels like it's got more of a longer pile and then this side is a shorter pile. And you can just wash this, it says machine wash cold and tumble dry on low heat. Let's see how it works. I'll be back in a second. So I've literally just come out of the bathroom, soaked it, and it felt like it was like soaking up a lot of water, like a like a sponge. So let's see. Oh god, I need to tie my hair back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, cat ears today. Very sexy. So bye bye, pretty face. Here we go. Okay. So so. Oh, it's, dr it's very very dry. I'm going to do what they said, just do circular motions. Let's see how long it takes. If this gets the stuff off my eyes the way it feels right now, it doesn't feel nowhere near as gentle as the balm, but it's also not unpleasant. It feels like I'm washing my face with some kind of furry blanket. Right, let's have a look. So the makeup, um, okay. I can see a lot of makeup on the cloth. And first impressions is I can see a lot of makeup on my eyes uh, where the mascara is. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, it's definitely taking more effort to remove the mascara. Oh my God, I'm disappointed. And it feels like it's drying already. As for my face, I think it's took off a lot of the face makeup. Because normally it gets stuck around here with the um, makeup pads. And there's not really hardly anything left there. Look at that. I'm still sparkling from when I did. That must be slightly from today's glitter. Okay, this is almost literally dry and I've been sitting here for three minutes. I'm gonna go and wet it again and see if that makes a difference. I'm back again. This time I'll try the other side. It definitely soaks in a lot of water really quick. Like a regular wash towel or flannel as we call it in England. It doesn't feel like a flannel. It feels like a fairy blanket. And for me to feel like I have to rub that hard, because I am rubbing with some pressure, I don't like that. Some more has come off, but still not all of it. So I think we can see what the clear winner is. Although I don't think it has anything bad in this to irritate your skin. But, you know, as far as I'm aware of, there's no chemicals in it. Is there any chemicals? And I read that it's a magic makeup remover cloth. I, I was assuming they'd put something in this material to help take the makeup off. It might have something in it because with just water alone and a wash towel, just water, no soap, it wouldn't have made it that clean. You would definitely still see a residue or foundation in my pores. I know that for a fact. It's done that. My face looks pretty clean and feels quite tight as well. Um, I'd say 90% of my makeup is removed. I know you can still see glitter, um, glitter particles on my face still. 
that'll be gone by the time I wash my face this evening. And there's still plenty of black on my eyelashes. Because it is quite a rough, not a rough, it's not super soft. It's nowhere near as gentle as using this. So I'll stick to this and I'll repurchase this again. And my coffee's freezing. The amount of times I'm having to go in to get the eye makeup off is defeating the purpose. And the balm definitely just feels a lot more luxurious taking your makeup off and makes your skin feel way nice. But this was £5.99 and that was £18 um, from ASOS I got this from. Um, I'm not sure if there's other companies or other brands who have brought out a similar thing to this and if they have whether it works better than the W7 because W7 is a low not an expensive brand so maybe there's better brands out there who's introduced the same kind of thing which works better than this if there is and you guys know about it let me know I'll be interested to know it has took a lot of I'm sure you can probably get there in the end but that's too time consuming and there's a lot of rubbing involved so um, overall I'd rate this a six and a half out of ten let's be fair this came out to be the clear winner of today's video so I hope you enjoyed watching me take my makeup off if you've tried them yourself let me know in the comments below and I'll see you soon with another video